Hi, it's me again. You might notice something somewhat different. I'm not currently in Malden walking around the prom. As you can see, I'm in sunny Spain, standing by quite a famous hotel, actually. I don't know if you can see it. I'm in a bit of a shitty angle for it, and I? That there, hang on, come here, hello. That there is the Pez Espada Hotel. The first luxury hotel on the Costa del Sol. All the celebrities of the day stayed in there. Sinatra was famously in there a lot and sent a letter to Franco saying, I'm never coming back to your crappy country. Interesting, but I'm not here on a jolly. I've had a, this is where I used to be. This is where the ex misses lived. So I know this area really well, I was down here a lot. Um, but I've had family down here since the eighties. And I had um, a phone call Saturday night with a bit of a medical emergency. So I got the first thing with wings on Sunday to come out here. Well, I'm not on a jolly. I want that noted. I don't want anyone in the comments going, oh, you lucky, you're going to be stuck in Spain for God knows how long. I'm in my rented office. You know them shared offices you can rent by the day. I mean, one of them during the day doing my day job still remotely. And then when I finish that at five, I'm on my lunch break now. When I finish that at five, I'm up the hospital. And I get home just in time for a nice glass of red and to go to bed and do it all again tomorrow. So, not on a jolly. But it's nice to be back down this way. I haven't been down this way since I broke up with the ex-missus, I don't know, 18 months ago, something like that. It's well over a year. I used to come down here a lot. That's where I used to walk the dog. My uncle lives just up there. And I uh, used to go get his dog and my dog. We will walk together. But anyway, we digress. I'm supposed to be talking about the television license fee, aren't I? Oh, let's go over there. I like it over here. Have a look at this. It's nice. This is the uh, this is the Paseo, they call it, from uh, Montimar. You're facing towards Montimar. Behind me would be the La Carapella area with its marble streets and stuff like that. And this is the back of the Pez Espada. Well, they've got hot tubs on the on the balconies. Nice, eh? Sorry. It is packed down here today, so I'm just trying not to capture too many people who are just trying to enjoy their, their spring break, you know? But yeah, I found some more stories of TV. We're still going to talk about TV licenses, and even though I'm over here and I don't have one, and I can't watch BBC all I like. But um, yeah, these stories, they're not ending, are they? Is this focused on my face? I'm a bit concerned at this camera thing today. Oh yeah, that's better. It's focused on my face now. I don't know what happened there. So we've had all these stories of people with mental health issues and poorly people being taken to court. And I said, it's not going to end. I said, no, it started. This is life now. And there's another one that I had bookmarked. I forgot all about. I thought we could uh, talk about it here. I'm sure you've seen it because it was in the, in the paper a while back. Let's have a look. So it's this one in the express. Let's try and, so I'm not shooting into the sun. You can see the Paseo behind me, it's like well busy today. Anyway, BBC license fee outrage as blind woman fined for not subsidising Gary Lineker's salary. Well the blind bit, sorry, it's a bloody camera today. The blind bit winds me right up, always has, right? You can't see properly, so we'll give you 50% off. How's that work? It should be free. I mean, there shouldn't be a license fee anyway, obviously. Uh, it should be free, shouldn't it? So let's see what happened here. The case has raised, should I turn you around? That'd be nicer, wouldn't it? The case has raised serious questions about the so-called TV tax, which has in the past seen some of the poorest in society, usually mothers of young children, being imprisoned for non-payment all while paying celebrities like Gary Lineker around one and a half million a year. To... He is the poster child for this, isn't he? He is the poster child for the TV license fee. I'm sure some of you are getting quite jealous at this point. It's not the uh, worst view in the world, is it? You see down there, and that leads all the way down to Torremolino's town centre, really, but you have to go up the hill for that. And the mountains in the background are the Sierra Nevada mountains. There's still snow up there. So like an hour and a half from here in the car, maybe two hours, you'd be skiing. I'm not trying to sell it. I don't work for the tourist board. 
In fact, I would, uh, I would suggest people don't move to Spain. Uh, uh, I won't tell you all the stories about that. But uh, yeah, visit, it's lovely. I want to live here. All right, what else does it say? The woman is partially blind and has memory problems after a brain hemorrhage, but was still prosecuted using a single justice system, which, according to the government, allows magistrates' courts to deal with minor offences in a way that's quicker, more straightforward, and more efficient, while still being fair, transparent, and rigorous. Are we hearing a lot of things about those single justice procedures being fair? Because we're it's just rubber stamping it, isn't it? No evidence is given. The witness is called. You can write a letter in your defence, but they probably won't read it. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So it's the latest outrage which has been condemned by Conservative MPs and others. It involved a 62-year-old disabled woman from near Sunderland. She was prosecuted via the single justice service over an unpaid TV licence and told to pay a £56 Fine. Now, how much would that have cost in the car? All right, the single justice system is cheaper. And yeah, of course it is. That's why they do. But it still would have cost more than 56 quid. Oh, it still would have cost more than 56 quid in legal fees to the country just to fine a woman 56 quid over a TV subscription. Uh, there's more and more of these coming out and I like I don't like that this situation's happening but I like that there's more and more of this coming out because it gets people talking about it doesn't it people are talking gets in the news and more and more people are getting absolutely disgusted by the situation and the more publicity that gets the more chance we've got of some change you know it does feel like it's moving in that direction, shall we say. Do you not think? And you're hearing more and more about it now in the papers and everything. But it does feel like things are moving in the right direction. But again, nothing can be done until 2027 anyway. Because they've already said that. They had the midterm charter review for the, for the BBC and the licence fee. But she said, Lucy said, she can't change nothing. Can't change nothing, I'm afraid. You've got to wait till 2027. But they should be having that sorted out now. And the fact that they haven't tells you that this is going to continue. No. Signing the petitions isn't going to help, is it? The only way to affect change is to keep talking about it, keep making sure these stories are told and convince as many people as you can to cancel. Oh, yeah. I just thought I'd talk about that today because I haven't put a video up for a while, have I? And I thought you might like to see it around here because it's quite pretty. I obviously have some bad memories of the place. <laughs> Partly my fault, I guess. I know. It's nice down here though. So if you walk down here, look, if you keep going down there, you end up on the marble streets of the La Caruela area, which is kind of underneath Torremolinos Town Centre. And Torremolinos Town Centre, bit grim. If you're looking to come out this way, don't stay in Torremolinos Town Centre. Playa Mar, Monte Mar, La Caruela, anywhere. But uh, Torre Town Centre is just a bit grim. It's a bit loud as well. And it's the gay capital of Spain apparently, if you're into that sort of thing. Each to their own. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I'm going to sign off. Uh, I'll try and keep up to date. I've got loads of stuff bookmarked. So where I'll find a bit of time on my lunch break, I'll try and uh, try and keep you up to date with what's going on with the world of TV licensing and anything else I find interesting, as always. And as we go back past the Pez Espada, it's an interesting story, the Pez Espada and Frank Sinatra. He came down here chasing one of his loves. Was it Ava Gardner? She was shooting a film down here, and there's a road just up there. And there's a big hotel, Princess Hotel. And there's a massive mural on the side of the hotel of her. And he came down here chasing her, and he had a terrible time. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Google it, have a look. He wrote a letter to, to Franco 
he wasn't very happy about this country at all. I understand where he's coming from. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you in the next one. Hit all the buttons below, all of that stuff. Ta-da.